Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mickey Car Beauty. And today I did a really quick uh, get ready with me trying on the new Dior Nightbird Quint and the Coral Blush from the Birds of a Feather collection. And I also tried the um, Clay de Peau New Radiant Natural Foundation and the Clay de Peau Bronzer in two. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, keep watching, thanks. So this is Nightbird 459 and I know it came out probably a month and a half ago but I just am finally getting um, a chance to play with it now. So I thought I'd jump on here really quick and try, um, play with some of this and as um, I got a chance to play with the other quad which matches this nail polish really well um, but this the green one is what um, matches this one really well. So I'll show that in a second, but I wanted to I wanted to film this today with you all. And here is the other uh, Dior product that I ended up picking up. It's the Dior Lacquer Nightbird, and it matches this Nightbird quad beautifully. So what's not catching in the light is that it's kind of there's a green and blue shift to this, and it's just really beautiful. So I'm um, really happy I'm testing out both of the nail polishes on both my hands. Um, and I had been wear testing this for about a week and a half um, from a sample from a Nordstrom SA. And I really fell in love with this product. So uh, if you go to my other video that just loaded, um, it's the haul, some end of summer haul video. I, in there I talk about, I do a really mini quick mini review of this, but the short, short of the re the short review is that it's it's wonderful it's a radiant natural finish and i have it on my face today i went ahead and prepped my skin so i have some sisley primer down already i this is one pump on my face and i used a brush to put this on um, i do have pat mcgrath concealer under here um, and I did my eyebrows and that's all I, and then I, and I, because it's a radiant foundation and I have very oily skin, I ended up, uh, using, uh, Charlotte Tilbury, the medium two powder just to, um, really just lay it down because otherwise it's pretty oily for me and pretty tacky. So my eyes are primed and prepped. I use the last of my hourglass veil and then because it's tacky, I usually, um, tap it down with some sort of power powder. If you want more color payoff, um, I would say put down a primer and don't put powder on it. But for me, I find depending on the eyeshadow, it can be hard to blend unless I pat it down. So I, I was trying to match um, a bright color with me. I, I'm wearing lime today and um, somewhere in the green spectrum, but um, we'll see how it wears with my bright outfit and earrings. Um, okay, so think let's start with the pink salmon salmon here shade and I have my Sony G classic crease so I'm gonna go in here and it picks up pretty well and I actually might use this quad just for my my eyes and I'm gonna come in here closer so you can see it's a really beautiful shade so I can see that um, there's a bit of a shimmer. It's not a matte. There's definitely some shimmer, but I don't mind. It's still, it seems, this color at least seems to be the same uh, quality as the other Dior Quince. Okay, great. I'm just laying that down. Great. Okay. Go to the other eye. Okay, that's really beautiful. So it's on this really peachy pink. I'm curious, do you, when uh, um, when you're doing your makeup, do you have one eye that's better than the other? Just curious. My eye ends up being this one ends up being easier to create, and this one is maybe more challenging. Maybe it's because I'm right-handed, and this is the left. And also, our eye, eye shapes are different. So really beautiful color. Just laying it down. Just not tapping and just kind of spreading the rest around. Okay, so for to kind of deepen up the crease here, I'm wondering, hmm, let me see again. 
I think I might use this to deepen up the crease. So that was this shade here has a little bit of purple. I'm sad it's not picking it up on the camera, but this it's got this purple underlay to it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yep. Yeah. So you can see here that it looks purple, but here it doesn't. So when you tilt it, it just looks a little bit green, but you can see on the reflection up here, it has a purple, purple um, underlay as its base. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and take my Sony G from the Lotus series, the worker brush, and um, tap into here just really lightly because it's pretty pigmented and just begin to build that up. I'll move in so you can see. So there's a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. I'm, and I'm not really, um, I'm just patting it on. And perhaps this is too big of a brush that I use, but I mean, we're gonna go with it because it's what's in my hand. So take that again and come closer so you can see. I find that using, sorry, I didn't say you can't see. Uh, keep your eyes um, centered as possible. So, because what, what happens when you have hooded eyelids is that you, it, you, the eyes go up and you don't see what is on the lid here. So it's, it's what I found is really important is to be really as close as possible when you're applying the eyeshadow and keep your eyelids open and looking directly as you're applying, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I could just end it there. Maybe we'll, yep. I I was waiting a long time for this this quad. Um, so I'm just taking the first brush I had and just, I didn't put any more product. I'm just using um, it to just gently blend this in a little bit so it's not so smoky, but not being overly aggressive in blending it out because then product will go away. And then, and again, just there's not much space up there. So I'm just really making really some minor adjustments. Okay. The Sony G Lotus um, Builder, and I love this. So if she sold these separately, I would definitely pick up at least one more of these. I don't know if she makes a builder this small again, but I just love it because it reminds me of the refer brush brushes or maybe refer um, copied her but the builder is um small so you can there's no product on here so it can get in right right here but it's also very tapered let's see if i can show it to you very tapered so um i can get in really precise and if i want to wet it wet the brush for more intensity is just it's it works so beautifully so i'm taking the green Right, I'm just packing it in a little bit. And I don't like to tap my brushes on um, the plastic because I it was told that it's really bad for your brushes. And these are investments. So, okay, I'm gonna go really close so you can see. And just packing on the color. I'm not doing huge sweeping motions, more just packing on the color as you can see. And because I have hooded eyelids, I like to go above. You see that? And it's where my mobile lid, the crease if you push, right? It's my orbitals, the orbital bone is what they call it. Um, and just laying on the color. Beautiful. I am also curious what happens if I wet this or finger application. Let's see, so I'm onto the other eyelid. So pretty. And looking directly um, so to see what additions I can make. I'm looking straight ahead because when my eyes open I miss what's on the lid usually right so the folds come in you can't see what's on the lid so I like to try as much as I can to go above right so you can see at least a peak of what's being laid down. Does it make sense? So I'm going even up to the orbital bone. Okay. 
Oh, that's so pretty. What do y'all think? Okay, I'm curious if I can try to use this. I might use this underneath as a line underneath. Okay, I'm gonna use the flat definer for this shade over here, um, which is this one here. The flat definer and kind of run it along my lower lash line here. And I'm gonna pat it because I don't know if there's gonna be fallout. So I'm gonna just be really gentle on that. Do you see that? It's really pretty. Just being really gentle, doing patting motions. And then when I first started watching other YouTubers or other people do makeup, um, you got to find what works for you because all of our eyes are different. Our styles are different and what works for you. So a lot of YouTubers will like do this and blend because it's all about blending. But I found that um, uh, it would hurt my eyes because, you know, you got to be gentle around the eyes as we age, sometimes depending on the product. There could be some glitter or fallout in there or pigment, so I didn't want things to fall into my eye. But sometimes it would just um, make more of a mess, so that's pretty. So that one is at the bottom of the lid. Okay, I will try to use this lightest shade here as my inner corner highlight. All right, so I'm going to look ahead. Let's try to get that in the monitor. Just kind of pop that in the corner and brighten it up. I might do this too. Sometimes I like to do this as an accent. Can you see that? Sometimes it works. You know what works really well with is Pat McGrath for more um, editorial looks. But you know, this is kind of a, um, this palette is not a traditional palette for Dior. I think this is, you can make some great editorial looks with this, right? How does that look? And I'm going to put a little shimmer up here just because it's shimmery, not matte. I don't want to overdo it. Just a little contrast of my brow bone, right? And what I might do, what I usually do because I put it eyes, I might go back in and, and make that crease up here just to really capitalize on the real estate that I have. So sometimes I find that maybe even these traditional crease brushes are too big because I don't have a lot of lift space, so, right? So what we can end up doing is getting a smaller brush, right? So I just want to show you the comparison. Sometimes it helps to use a smaller brush and I'm going into the mini booster to get into those smaller area, areas that we're working on. So I, I tapped into here again, just to get the, some of that salmon peeking through. Do you see that? And that way we're kind of really using all the lid space we have, even if it's, you might have hooded eyelids. So it's kind of like faking it till you make it and um, having more space to play. And it's makeup, there's no rules. I, I think it's interesting. I, I really love watching um, makeup artists and I think makeup artists have a, tend to be more sometimes uniform in how they do the makeup and they have more deep receded eyelids. So what your style and also moreover, like your anatomy of your eyes, how you do your makeup applications, not always gonna work the same for what a lot of art makeup artists say, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. So that's the beauty about YouTube is that you can see how other beauty um, lovers are using the makeup in a way that works for them on their style and their coloring and their skin tones, undertones, and moreover, just the how their, their, their anatomy of, of our bodies are different. So that's really pretty, I'm gonna close my eyes. So what I'm gonna do, cause I'm curious if, so this is, um, I'm losing track. I think it's this one, right? The green, I'm just curious if it's, if I go in with my finger, if it's going to amp it up. Yeah. The, So pretty. These are the two that the one I have in my eyes reminds me of. So here is the limited edition Golden Snow, Golden, Golden Snow 549. And here's the Jungle Quint 579. 
I would say this is probably my second favorite Dior Quint. Um, I'm not including the new ones because I haven't played with them enough. My favorite is the new the, um, Dior Cruise just because it's every day I've been using that. So I'm gonna, going to swatch some of these so we can do a comparison. So here's that pink shade in Jungle and here's the green shade. So I'm going to, I'm going, and let's do the, the light shade too. So I'm going to do it kind of up here. It's very similar. I would say it's a little brighter. Here is the green shade. Also very similar. Let me do it one more time. It's a little bit more subdued, you know, but on the eyes, you might not be able to tell. And then the pink, let's see if that's any different. Let's do that over here. Very similar. Hmm. So I would say if you're going to get this, you're interested in that the Birds of a Feather collection and it's sold out, just know these are really close. Like these three colors from the Jungle Quint are very similar to the first top three of the Nightbird color. But you would be missing these two green, blue, teal um, colors because there's no blue on here. Um, what you end up having here is it's actually a brown, like a, a, a brown and then a, a, I think it's like a dark green here. Oh, it's like a blue. But on my skin, it turns, you can see that brown is like a grayish undertone. Okay, just so you have a comparison. And then let's see if we have room in my arm. This is the limited edition um, snow globe, golden golden snow uh, quad. And this, I some people didn't like it, but I actually love it. I'm, I'm favored to greens, as you can tell. Uh, it's very shimmery. I would say it's more shimmery, kind of perfect for the holidays, kind of, of quint. And so we have, I'll swatch the green. I don't think there's... There's that kind of like this, and then we'll start with that. So there's a green, and I'll do it here. So it's definitely a deeper green, but it's very similar. Do you see that? Okay, and then I uh, swatched that pinkish color. Where can I put that? Maybe over here you can see. It's more of a frosty pink, not as deep. And this is a very frosty palette. You gotta know that before you go in because I think that's why some people aren't keen on it. It's, just, it's very kind of sheer frosty colors, but you can build her up. And then I don't have any yellow on here, but let me swatch the yellow in the middle and then the frosty white. So the frosty white is here. It's very similar, look at that. Okay, and that yellow, where would that go? Why don't we just put it right here? So there's no yellow in that Birds of a Feather collection, Nightbird. So I'm going to do my lashes and eyeliner off camera, and then I'll be back to put on the blush, some bronzer, and then that's it. Okay, so I went off camera and finished my um, eyeliner and lashes, and I went with um, more of a dramatic eyeliner with liquid because it's, it is more of, a, I think, an evening smoky look even though it's daytime, but I use my tried and true Tom Ford eye, liquid eyeliner. I wish this came in other colors. This comes in uh, black um, and I wish it came in things like, for more fun colors, like even brown, they don't even have it, it's just black. So if they're listening Tom Ford, please more colors in this because they have a thick tip and a light tip. And it's just one of the easiest um, liquid eyeliners that I found to use. And then for my bottom lash, I, um, as you can see, I made mistakes. <laughs> so I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm not gonna touch it or it's gonna smudge. So I, this is my tried and true, true for my bottom eyelashes because they're, they're short. So, and it has this really small wand. So I love that for my lower eyelashes. If anyone knows of a different brand that's also good for lower eyelashes that's small, let me know. And then because it's more of a dramatic look, I um, use the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. And it's just really great at, you can, I'm getting really close to the camera, at um, volumizing and then lifting the eyes. So I know I have stuff, I like <laughs> mascara on my eyes, but I'm just um, waiting for that to dry. I know people usually use blush or bronzer first, but we're gonna go into this. So here's a swatch of 
this coral coral blush so I can see that it's really there's some kick up and then I can see it's really pigmented so I am going in white with a uh, Wayne Goss uh, actually you know what I'm gonna pick I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna use this new soft cheek I think this might be good because it kind of splays out and so it might be diffused better um, and also this is a new brush so I want to use it so it's, it's the Sony G new soft cheek and you can see a lot came off on the brush so what I'm gonna do is probably tap some off and some are still on there so what I'm gonna do is just tap it off because oh some some of it comes off it's not okay so let's try this um let me get my mirror here so I'm gonna place it high because it's a really bright brush blush it's really pretty okay kind of matches that color up here And because it's a bright blush, I tend to have it mostly back here. Another thing I like to do is not put too much in the front because that's where a lot of my texture is. This brush is fantastic. I know, and now I know why she uses it because it's, it's really great at diffusing too. Look at that. And I have to be careful not to overly do this area because this is where I get texture and then sometimes things lift. So having a really soft brush is what I'm looking for too. All right, and I have my hair up so you can see the makeup more and I'll probably end up putting it down at the end. Okay, so that is the coral blush, really pretty. And I'm gonna take this stuff off now because it's dry. The last thing I wanted to try on today was the new Clay de Peau bronze, new to me, Clay de Peau bronzer is uh, shade two and I just wanted to open this up in front of you all because this is pretty <laughs> nice packaging so it comes in this beautiful case so little geometric patterns inside and so it comes with this clicking right here so this is the blush or I'm sorry the bronzer and there's a there is a oops a bronzing brush that comes with it uh, which is nice I guess if we're going to travel um, you can use that that and put that in there. Um, since I'm home and not traveling, I will just just use my bronze blush bronze brushes at home. So what I want to do is uh, I want to, you know, I don't know if this is gonna work for me, but this is the only this is the the deepest color they have for clay de peau. So what I'm gonna do is swatch the top one and then the deeper one, and then do let's see if I have room here anywhere. Oh, that's a lot deeper than I thought it'd be. Okay. Huh. So there you go. It's um I would say the top one has a little bit more of a sheen. Let me rub it again. If you can get that in there. See that? There's like a little bit of sheen. And that's definitely deeper, runs a little bit red. So I'm wondering, I switched up brushes seeing how this are two different colors. It's almost on my skin tones. It almost that could almost be like a blush. I'm gonna swirl both of them. That could be a mistake. I don't know. It's just makes makeup we're gonna play. I'm gonna use this um, Inoshige Pro, which is Sony G. I think this is coming back in the restock. Love this brush. It's I could gush. Or maybe I'll do a video about brushes, but I, I think this has so many different uses. Like I just cleaned this. This could be under eye. This could be all over your face. It has like this domed finish. So that it has really great placement. I think it's goat hair, but it's great for this too. So what I'm gonna do is do a little bit of this. So it came up on here. Maybe do a little bit of the deeper one and see. So it's hard for me to do it in the monitor. Let me get my mirror. So I just want to do this. So it looks, ooh, that's, almost like it almost looks like almost like a blush for me because it turns red I'm curious maybe I'll just do this on this side and see what happens do it closer to my hollows what do you all think run it up here That is very pretty. I think I need to 
tease this one out a little bit. Yeah, it was a little low. I love this brush. BK Beauty 105. I use this for as a buff brush, but also for my Shantikai. That's actually really pretty bronzer. Let me try it again. I don't want to put too much, but it almost looks like it for my skin tone, it could be like one of those brontour deals, right? So I'm kind of putting it up here. This cheek always looks better. What do you think? Put some up here. So you can see that this is like, you can, such a great brush. Okay, maybe a little bit there. I don't know if I would say this is like a snatched look where you're gonna get like, what do you think? I, I mean, I use my Tom Ford Gold Dust for like a really sculpted look or if I want to put contour in there. But I think we're almost done. So that's that's the um, the Clay de Peau bronzer in two. You can see that. See how it goes. Yeah, I think it could, for me it's like a brontour action kind of thing, but it's it's beautiful. Okay, and then I'm gonna find a lipstick to match all this. I just pulled out a bunch of lipsticks. So what should I use today? This is Rose Bolshoi in Sisley. That might be too mauve pink for this look. It'd be okay, let's see. And then I have my tried and true NARS Tolade. It's less pink, it's more, it's deeper. Okay. Sorry for the noise. Postal workers here making a delivery and my dog is saying hello. That's too deep, so that's out. That is Tamarind by Shantikai. Um, not the spread. Um, supermodel Charlotte Tilbury. You can see I have a type. Very similar. This is In Love with Olivia. This is kind of my go-to if I can't figure out the NARS one in this. I'm just going to go with that because I think the others are too matte and bright where this is like a little bit brighter. Okay, so we're going to try this. Okay, I'm going to line my lips. And this is in Pat McGrath Structure. And for me, it helps to line lips because I have um, depending on the color and the opacity of the lipstick, my natural color will peep through. Okay, so that structure, it's great. And then I'll do a little swatch so you can see what color that is. Really nice color for me. And then I think we decided on In Love with Olivia. You see, it's a little deep, but let's see how it goes on. That's nice. What do you think? I think with the look, it's great. It doesn't take away from the, the dramatic eye look and the cheeks are pretty strong. And I also have a very bright top. So. <laughs> okay, so that's the final look and I'm gonna take down my hair so you can see what it looks like. You know, it's kind of a warm day today here. So here's um, the look with my hair down. What do you think? Getting close, you can see the eye look. And then this side. And then I just wanna, so I use this again today, really beautiful. Super happy with it. What do you think? Have you tried this yet? Um, I showed you some dupes in case you were not able to get this, but let me know what you think. Do you like this look? Would you pair it with something differently? Is there something that you would like to see? Do you want to see the other quad of how I worked um, a look with that? Um, have you tried the new Clay de Peau? Not new, but the Clay de Peau, well, the new Clay de Peau foundation. Have you, have you tried the bronzer? Curious about that. Um, but the coral, I'm actually really happy about the coral. 
a coral blush. So yeah, let me know. So if you like the video, please click thumbs up for and share some love. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate if you did so too. And if you feel like it to expanding our beauty community, uh, please share my YouTube channel to other friends who might be interested. I primarily focus on luxury beauty. Some of the things of skincare I do love. I'm not an expert of skincare or makeup. I'm not, you know, I'm not a cosmetic artist or a makeup artist. I just, I'm just a beauty enthusiast. So um, what I do like to focus on is our colors and products that work for people with sensitive skin and rosacea, right? So I'll, I'll be always be honest with you if it's working, but also um, luxury beauty with people with deeper skin tones. So I'm kind of in the medium, medium tan. So medium tan, um, and sometimes it's kind of hard to find um, swatches and looks that might work and, and products that will work on those of us with the skin tone. So um, please share with your friends and I look forward to seeing you, with you, seeing you in the next video. Um, and meanwhile, please take good care of yourself and others and I'll see you later. Thanks, bye.